aggressive effort equals happiness. This is something I talked about earlier, and this is what I meant that I'm going to talk about with Andrew Huberman, specifically related to Andrew Huberman and biology and chemical release, dopamine release. So when it comes to being aggressive with your personal life, with your business, here's one thing that's important to note. Aggressive effort is what results in happiness for you. So you want to be happy in life. You want to be fulfilled in life. The path to that is contrary to what people think. It's not the comforts. It's not sleeping in. It's not being on your couch watching TV. It's not ice cream. It's not pizza. It's not drinking with your buddies. Contrary to what people think, those actions are not the actions that lead to happiness. You know what creates happiness and true, real, visceral fulfillment for you in your life? Doing the work, being aggressive with sticking to your own priorities and principles. So aggressive effort, the key here is effort, not outcome, not result, effort, aggressive effort is what leads to happiness. Here's why. This is again what I learned from Andrew Huberman. This is how you can take biology and learning a lesson from a neuroscientist to apply to your business, right? You guys should always be looking for things you can apply to your personal life, to your business. One thing Andrew Huberman said is for human beings, the reward is in your actions, not from your actions. This is very critical. I want to take this one slow. I want to make sure you guys all get this. Write this down, drill this in for yourself, print it out, put it on your wall, whatever you want to do. The reward is in your actions, not from your actions. So you want to make a million bucks this year? The reward is not you making the million at the end of the year. That's nice. That's great. The reward is in all the effort you're taking to get there. That's when you feel good. When you accomplish the goal, I'll tell you guys right now from personal experience, it doesn't feel as good as you think it would. Anytime I've had an income goal, a revenue goal, I remember I've shared the story before. One of my big goals when I was young was 20K a month, $20,000 a month. When I started to make 20,000 a month consistently and then 25K, 27K and so consistently, it felt like nothing. I'm being straight up transparent with you guys. I'm being very direct with you guys. This is not a negative thing. It was great. I had options. I created financial freedom for myself. But feeling wise, it felt like nothing. When I was writing that goal down when I was 17, 18, 19 years old, it felt like it would be the world. Like I'm done. 20K a month. That's it. See you guys later. I'm off the grid. Started to make 20K a month every month consistently and then more felt like nothing. The actual outcome and result, I guarantee you will always disappoint you. And that's just how it is. It is what it is. It's, it's like the main reward was from what? From the work that I did, from the effort, from the journey, from learning, from everything that I did to get there. And this ties in with what one of the most valuable things I ever learned from my first mentor, Jim Rohn. And this is his exact quote, set goals, not for the goal itself, but for who you have to become to achieve that goal. And he used to say, it's not in the what, it's in the who. It's not about what you're getting. It's about who you're becoming. So it's not about the getting, it's about the becoming. It's amazing to write these goals, but understand the goal itself won't mean as much when you get there. I guarantee you, I'm telling, telling you guys right now, call me back in 10 years. And tell me, hey, I achieved all these goals. And it's just like you said, didn't really feel anything getting to the goal. But who I've become in this process, the person I've become, that's what I'm proud of. Guarantee that's what it's going to be. When I look back over the last 10 years, that's what it is for me. It's not about anything I've gained or accomplished, anything material, money, none of that. If you really look back in hindsight, it's never what you're getting. It's always who you're becoming. So back to Andrew Huberman and this principle here, this is literal biology. So he, Andrew Huberman says, when they track uh, their patients in their lab, so he has a lab and again, he's a neuroscientist. So they do experiments, studies, things like that. They literally track the brain activity and whatnot, serotonin release, dopamine release, all these different chemicals. And he said, when they're tracking in studies that they've done, there's more dopamine release from effort then there's dopamine release from the reward. So they've actually tracked and realized this scientifically proven that when you achieve the goal or the target, there's less dopamine release than when you're working towards it, when you're making an effort towards it. Very interesting. And it directly applies to business. So again, the reward is in your actions, not from your actions. And it's not about what you're getting. It's about who you're becoming. So when you're setting goals, don't set goals for the goal itself set goals for who you have to become to achieve that goal. 